Hey guys, welcome to Charger Games. This is Raja and this is another Unity 2D racing game tutorial. So in the last video we have learned how to move the car by using button but in this video what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to move the car without any buttons. You just have your device and you're gonna move the car just by touching on the left and right. So when you touch here the car will move left, when you touch here the car will move right and we're gonna do that from scratch. Now before continuing with this series, before continuing with this tutorial, you should definitely check out my Android series and the specific touch tutorial on that. There I have a, a touch input tutorial that is the third video I guess. And you should also definitely check out the second video where I show you how to set up Unity Remote. As you can see currently Unity Remote is running here. So this is the Unity Remote that will uh, help us to test it directly while the game is running on our screen. So while running the screen I have tried to show the game from here but it's pretty hard to show it from here so I will just change the angle of the camera and show you from a different angle okay so let's wait for that okay so here we are from a different angle and as you can see I have my unity remote running here and if I just go ahead and play this game as you can see the game is running and I can touch on the left and the car moves left and I can touch on the right and the car moves right and this is how we can control the car very easily and Probably you guys can see my computer screen as well, and as you can see that this is the uh, this is the advantage of using Unity Remote that you get to test it while developing at the same time. So I can play the game right here and test it right here, build it right here. So this is what we're gonna be building in this video. So I hope you guys are super excited. So let's get started. Okay, so this is where we left off in the last video. So we had something like this where we had buttons and we can control the car by using these buttons. So in this video we can remove them and control it by touches. So let's get started. So first of all we're gonna disable these buttons because we don't need them anymore in this video. So I'm gonna select this canvas and click on this triangle right left to it. And from here I'm just gonna select the left and right buttons by using control. By using control click you can select both of them together and then from here from the inspector I'm just gonna uncheck this and as you can see now both of them are disabled okay mm -hmm. so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open the car controller script so here we have the car controller script mm -hmm. now one good news is that I can I can tell you that we have done most of the task in the last video already since as you can see we have already written code for moving the car left moving the car right and moving and setting the velocity to zero now in this video we only need to figure out how to call this function when we touch left how to call this function when we touch right and how to call this function when we are not, not touching anything okay so we're gonna do that so first thing you need to do is First thing we need to do is we're gonna create a separate function named void touch move. Okay, and this is the function that will be responsible for all our code that is related to movement of touch. So all our touch related movements will be inside this function, and every frame in the update function we're gonna call this function if the code is Android. Okay, so if you remember in the probably two or three videos before we have written something like this we have said if the current platform is Android then we will write all the Android specific code here and I'm gonna write the touch move function here so every frame in the update function if this is Android that means if the current platform is Android then this function will be called in every frame and our touch all the codes related to our touch control will be called every frame and if the current platform is not Android then this thing will be called which is for our PC Mac and Linux okay so now inside this touch move we have to write the code which will decide how we can control the car by using touches now again I want to say that if you don't know about touches you should definitely check out my video on touches Android touches I will probably link that video in the playlist or in the description or probably a card will go on the screen right now okay so you should definitely check that out otherwise you will miss a lot of things okay so first of all what you're gonna do is we're gonna check if input dot touches input dot touch count is greater than zero 
only then we wanna check touches okay now touch count is variable which stores how many touches are occurring in the device now if there are not any touches why should we check about touches if there is a touch that means if the touch count is greater than one that is means someone is touching on the screen only then we wanna check about touches and I have discussed all the things elaborately in my touch video okay next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a touch type variable a variable of type touch and inside that we're gonna store input dot get touch zero okay so input dot get touch zero returns us the very first touch occurs on the device since we don't want to allow multitasking multi multi touch at that point we want to touch we're gonna allow only one touch at the left or the right so that is why we are taking the very first touch that comes here and we are storing that inside this touch okay so the very first touch gaming on the screen is getting stored inside this touch variable so now whatever we want to do we can do just using this touch variable okay so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check we're gonna check if the touch if the touch position is left if the touch position is left in the left then uh, we will move the car left and if the touch position is on the right then we will move the car right now how do we check if the touch position is left or right in order to do that you know that our screen has a width okay so it has a width so what you're gonna be doing is we're gonna actually divide that width by two so our whole screen width will be divided by two so that is how we will get a middle point okay and we will check if the position is less than that middle point then we will move the car left and if the touch position is greater than that middle point then we will move the car right hope you got it so you'll get it once i write the code so first of all let us create a float variable and name it middle and inside that I'm gonna I'm gonna store the middle position of our screen so in order to find that we need to write screen dot width and this variable stores the width of our screen and we need to divide it by 2 so this is how we will get the middle position of our screen now only thing we need to do is we just need to check uh, we just need to check that if the touch position is less than this or greater than this middle position okay so first of all we'll check if touch dot position dot x since we are checking only the x position of the touch if the touch position dot x is less than middle is less than oh whatever happened is less than middle and touch dot phase equals touch phase dot begin so that means if the touch position is less than middle and the touch phases begin there are many phases of touch uh, when we first time touch the screen it is touch phase began when we lift our finger from the screen it is touch phase ended and we when we are moving our finger on the screen it is touch phase moving okay so we want to check this touch only when the touch phase has began okay all right so next thing we're gonna do is if this happens if the touch is less than middle and the touch faces began then we just gonna call this move left function and we are done we don't need to write any more code because we have already written necessary code to move the car left so the same way we're gonna do for moving right for moving right what you're gonna do is if touch the position dot X greater than middle and touch dot phase equals touch phase that began then what you can do is we're gonna simply call the move right function and that's it now one more thing is we have to do is when none of these things are happening when we are okay so let's replace it with else if if this is happening else if this is happening and when none of this is happening uh, as you can see here we are checking if touch count is greater than zero that means something is touching on the screen then we want to do all this 
and when no touch is happening, when nothing is getting touched, that means else, when nothing is getting touched and we don't have any finger on the screen, we don't want to move the car, but instead of that we want to set the velocity to zero. So simply we're going to call this set velocity zero function that we have created on this previous video. So when we are touching on the left, we are just calling this function. When you are touching the right, we are calling this function. When we are not touching anything, we are just calling this function. So since we have created this function in the previous video, our job has become a lot of easier. Okay. So now we have written all the necessary codes that we need to control the car by using touches. So it should work now. So let me go ahead and quickly check it. So let me grab my device on my hand and let me play it from here. And now I can control the car by using my finger on my device. I can move left or right or wherever you want just by using the touches. And this is it. So this was pretty easy and I think this is the easiest way to do this stuff. Okay. Probably there are a lot of other ways to do this by using touches, but I think I tried to show you the very simple way to do that because I love simple things. I am a very dumb person, so I don't get the complicated things, so I love to learn simple things, and that's why I teach you guys simple things, okay? So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you guys have any problem, any questions, just let me know that in comments. And if I have any, if I have done any mistakes or anything wrong, just let me those, let me know that in comments. So if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button because it's definitely make make me happy. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hey man, just subscribe. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. And the next video, I'll probably show you how to move the car by using accelerometer so that you can tilt your device and rotate your, move your car. Probably a lot of you guys are waiting for that. So let me show you that in the next video. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. See you in another video and Merry Christmas to all of you. So thanks.